Hi friends, this is Ashok Punpal. Welcome to my channel Design and Drafting with the Autodesk Inventor. In today's topic, we will learn basics of mechanical frame generation command with skeleton sketch. First of all, we will see real time use cases of frame generation command for design like various types of chassis of four wheeler vehicles store racks machine racks customized frame and skewed etc before applying frame generation command we have to create skeleton part let's start with the 2d sketch select 2d sketch select xy plane draw a rectangle here till the time we are using simple dimension style today we will see how we can use dimension different ways you can select other dimension style from this tab Now we will continue with the expression. Select expression. Give dimensions. I am adding expression to this side. Like side is equal to 2000. Enter. And for this side. Like side 1 is equal to 1000 enter draw lines in between a rectangle to create middle channel of a frame draw vertical lines in a rectangle and give dimensions mm -hmm. here I am applying expression for dimension like side divided by 4 it means it will divide side that is 2000 divided by 4 same for another line for third line we will do side divided by 2 enter Now our intermediate skeleton sketch is fully constant. Finish this sketch. Now we will create offset planes. Keep visibility on for basic planes. Create offset planes on right and left side of this basic plane first. First we will create on right side, apply expression as side 1 divided by 2, enter. Similarly we will repeat on left side, apply expression as minus side 1 divided by 2, enter. Same will be applicable for this plane to create offset plane and apply expression side divided by 2 and for other side minus side divided by 2 to connect skeleton we will draw sketch on all opposite planes select 2d sketch select this plane to create projected line apply project geometry on this line now 
now draw vertical and horizontal lines and apply expressions finish this sketch repeat same process for another offsetted planes select 2d sketch select this plane to create projected line apply project geometry on this line now draw vertical and horizontal lines and apply expressions Finish this sketch. Again select next offsetted plane. Select to this sketch. Select this plane. Again apply project geometry on this line. Draw vertical and horizontal lines. And apply expressions. Finish this sketch. For fourth offsetted plane, you have to create only one horizontal line. Select to this sketch. Select this plane. And draw a line. Finish this sketch. Create one more offset plane from this plane and apply expression as side 1 divided by 2. Enter. Create one more sketch on this offset plane. and create project lines select a rectangle and draw here give expression to this sketch make this rectangle collinear with the upper and lower line Select collinear, select this line and make it collinear with the upper line. Right click, ok. Same for bottom line, collinear it with the lower line, ok. Finish this sketch. Select middle XY plane. Draw sketch. Project these lines. Draw lines. Finish sketch. Same for this offset plane. Draw sketch. Project these lines. And draw inclined lines. Finish this sketch. Here our skeleton is ready. To create a frame or structure, save this skeleton. For next step, we have to open assembly window where we can call this skeleton. Open assembly window 
and save it now call previously saved skeleton by clicking plain component command select and open skeleton place it and right click ok now we will see frame generation command go to design tab select insert frame command in this window you can specify required standard and shape of frame beam here I am keeping standard ISO from family you can select a required shape of beam like a round bar square bar rectangle and square tubes C channels I channels I am selecting square tubes size of square tube will be 50 by 50 by 5 5 is the thickness of tube material will be same steel mild now we will select skeleton lines where we want to apply square tubes we will select all lines one after another select middle line also after selection click ok again ok again ok here you can see frame generated on the skeleton for clear view you can off the visibility of skeleton sketch you can change beam type by clicking on change for end corner we will select meter command keep gap 0.1 mm select first frame member select second frame member and apply repeat this for all corners for notch select first and second frame member and apply repeat this wherever required You can use other commands 
लाइक ट्रीम और एक्सटेंड लेंथन और शॉर्टन बाय सेलेक्टिंग फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड फ्रेम मेंबर यू कैन ट्राई विथ अदर स्किल स्केच एंड क्रिएट फ्रेम Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, then please like, share and subscribe. And don't miss to hit the bell icon to get the notification for new uploaded videos. Thank you. Bye.